good morning we're going to see some adjective all right some adjectives the first adjectives all right this first adjectives will be one guarded guarded what does the word guarded mean guarded which is here guarded means in french sur c'est garde guarded mean prudent prudent all right so if i put the phonetic here to help you in the pronunciation you say guarded guarded example sentence example sentence you can see for instance e he is guarded. He is guarded. All right. He is guarded. You can say, il est sur ses gardes. All right. Il est sur ses gardes. Vous devez être sur vos gardes lorsque vous allez dans un endroit inconnu. Okay. You must be guarded when you go in an unknown place some where you don't know very well you must be guarded all right to be guarded être sur ses gardes the second adjective is guarding guarding which we have here we have guarding Guarding is written like this. Guarding. What does guarding mean? If you say something or someone is guarding, it means irritating. Someone who is irritating. In French, if you are irritating, in French, it means, for instance, irritant. Quelqu'un d'irritant. Irritant. Alright? Irritant ou euh, exaspérant. Exaspérant. Alright? Irritant ou euh, exaspérant. Une personne qui vous fatigue, qui vous irrite. And the pronunciation of the word guarding. You pronounce it gar like this. Guarding. 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 Alright? Guarding. All right, guys. Good. So, we have one adjective here, and we have the second adjective here. Then we continue with the third adjective, grabby. Three, grabby. Grabby. All right. So, if something is grabby, uh, grabby, you pronounce it like this. Gra B, grabby. So, pronunciation of grabby is uh, something which is, um, uh, for instance, malpropre. 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 It's a uh, grabby or sale. Malpropre or sale. You can say, this man is really grabby. Uh, he doesn't have any place to live. All right, a beggar is grabby. A, for instance, example sentence: A beggar, a beggar, ce qu'on appelle mendiant. A beggar is a grabby. Is a grabby, or uh, a grabby person. All right, a beggar is a grabby person. Grabby person. Un mendiant est une personne sale. All right? Grabby. Let's go for the fourth adjective. Quatrième adjective. Grueling. Grueling. So, you can say grueling. Grueling. All right? Grueling. If something is grueling, uh, you can mean, you can say, sorry, you can say, for instance, it is 
Vous pouvez dire, par exemple, c'est « Erentan ». All right ?« Erentan ».« Erentan » est « Utimise » en French. « Erentan » qui signifie aussi « Épuisant ».« A growling exercise » C'est un exercice épuisant. A growing work. A growing work. C'est un travail fatigant. Growling. Sorry. Uh, fatigant. Growling. Alright. Fatigant. Or exténuant. Exténuant. This is growling. Alright. So, what can be growling? Qu'est-ce qui peut être growling? A work, for instance. Uh, a work is growling. A work is growling. Alright? Good. We continue with the uh, adjective 5. Uh, adjective 5, it's a uh, hard trading. Hard. Alright, something which is heart training. Heart training. We pronounce it heart trending. Alright, heart training. Heart training here means uh, déchirant. Alright, déchirant. Déchirant. It is Hard trading. Um, you can say it was hard trading uh, to see him. Okay, qui fend le cœur. Hard trading, qui quelque chose qui fend, qui fend le cœur. Okay, example sentence. We can say, for instance, hard. We recommend hard trading. Uh, example sentence, tu veux dire um, uh, déchirant, par exemple, déchirant, qui fend le cœur. Uh, we can say, for instance, we can say, uh, sorry, it was, example sentence, it was hot trending, it was hot trending to see him. Alright? It was hard trading to see him. Hard trading. How do you pronounce it? You pronounce it like this. Heart. Quand on met deux points à côté de A, on prononce comme, on, 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 on prononce la lettre longue. Donc ça va donner heart. Heart. Donc ça fait heart. Et on fait train. Train. Ding, trending. That's a done. Hot trending, hot trending. It was hot trending to see him. All right, good. Let's continue with the adjectives at number six. Hey nurse. Hey nurse. All right, hey nurse. You have the phonetic like this. Hey, all right, hey nurse. Hey nurse. All right? Hey nurse. What does hey nurse mean? Hey nurse here means audio. Oh, audio. Oh, Something which is hey nurse is hey nurse is audio oh, or um, atroce. Atroce. All right? So you can have a hey nurse accident, an accident audio, oh, a hey nurse uh, uh, Mm, uh, killing, you know, tuerie, uh, odieuse, atroce, hinners. All right, good. Let's continue with the uh, the next adjective, which is hurried. Hurried, something which is considered, uh, sorry, har. All right, hurried. Like this. If you consider something uh, hard, a fact which is hard means in French, uh, uh, soucieux. 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 Alright. Hard. Hard. So, 
he was hurried about the news. Il était soucieux euh, de, de, de nouvelles. Il, il est resté soucieux à, à, en ce qui concerne les nouvelles. Ok, alors, à différents points, un peu difficile de trouver une phrase euh, euh, soucieux. Être soucieux, il faut juste dire être soucieux, c'est to be hurried, to be worried about something, être inquiet à propos de quelque chose. Hurried. All right? Hurried. So, we can continue with the, our adjective. The next one is haggard. Haggard. So, we we'll put it like this. Haggard. All right? Haggard. So, let me put, help you in the pronunciation by writing the, uh, The phonetic, you can write like this, a ha gird. Uh, and you write good, like this, haggard, haggard, all right, cool. okay, so haggard means what in French? Haggard means, um, sorry, rongé par les soucis, voilà, is haggard, rongé, all right, rongé par les soucis souci haggard means also signifie aussi défait défait complètement défait haggard all right uh, we have an english synonym uh, on un autre synonyme en anglais on peut dire haggard or care warm it is care warm care warm all right care warm is corn is haggard and uh, finish the last adjective uh, harrowing harrowing harrow so let's put here nine harrow harrow all right um, wing all right harrowing it means uh, Harrowing means poignant. C'est poignant. Harrowing. Poignant. Or extrêmement pénible. Extrêmement. Extrêmement. C'est quelque chose d'extrêmement pénible. Pénible. Alright. Pénible. Euh, difficile. Quelque chose de difficile à supporter. Difficile. Euh, à supporter, supporter, difficile à supporter, harrowing. So, you can say, for instance, uh, is be betrayal, ça, 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 tromperie, uh, is harrowing. Uh, Jérôme Kauzak, for instance, uh, Money laundering uh, is harrowing. Harrowing. So money laundering is a l'évasion fiscale de Jérôme Kaisak est difficile à supporter. Uh, uh, example sentence. Let me write it down. Example sentence. Uh, Jérôme. All right. Jérôme. Uh, Jérôme Kaisak. All right. Kauzak, okay, betrayal, uh, or, or Jean Kauzak, money, money laundering, laundering, all right, uh, l'évasion fiscale de Jean Kauzak is harrowing, is harrow, all right, harrowing, all right, is harrowing. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Don't forget to learn your vocabulary. Bye-bye.